What's up, y'all? It's Mel Ball Z coming in with the Diddly D's. Welcome to the second episode of OSRS and Chill. So, in this clip right now, I'm killing Sir Agnes, but I decided to start the screen recording process um, in the middle of the fight, which was ridiculous. I was like, oh my gosh, another episode. Don't let this idea flop, you dumb bitch. Um, <laughs> I get bored really easily. It's like ridiculous. So, my goal is to get the Seracnus pet, which isn't going to happen for a while, because I think my KC is like, mm, give or take 150. Like, it's really not that much, which is ridiculous, considering that I'm hunting for the pet. But I get bored so easily, so that's not fun. I recently did Dragon Slayer 2. You'll see, like, some uh, A or 2 or 3 Vorkath kills by the end of the video. But I got... I, I finally finished Dragon Slayer 2, and I love Warcath. It's one of my new things. I do three things in the game, three things only, which is Seracnus, Rev Caves, and, <laughs> and fucking Warcath now. I, um, I got a construction level recently, as well as a hunter level, but that was from Tears of Gothics. And I feel like I got another level. I don't remember where, though. Oh, it was my range. I finally am range 85, because that's all I use, obviously, if you look what I do. But... Fucking, I want this pet so damn bad. I love spiders, and you think I'd be more motivated, but for some reason, the ADHD and lack of acoustic in me is, like, insane. I can't, like, grind the game like I used to, just because I feel like, and I'm not even mid-game, I think, because I don't even have a quest cape. I have, like, three quests left, I think maybe four but it's the whole point of the game is to grind it and have fun like I get that and like do whatever you want and like I get that but the problem is is that I don't know how to do either of those the most fun I have is the gambling for the drops I love drops I think they're fun I like when they're blue I like when they're orange I've never had one that looks pink why because I'm edging mid-game but I need to stop edging it and I need to let it explode you know so yeah that's my runescape update that's that's literally it that is that is all I have gotten done in the entire game since I last hopped on here I think what did I record the first episode like Friday Thursday Sunday I don't know who cares I think it's Wednesday it's Tuesday. All right. Whatever. Um, but world updates. There's really only one world update I could think of, like truthfully and honestly, and that is Donald Trump winning Iowa. That's like literally all I've heard about, which is ridiculous. And then that one video on Twitter of like the dad like shooting his son in the ear. Yeah, don't know. That's all I've really seen. So let's think about topics then. Let's think let's think about topics. What's the next holiday coming up? Valentine's Day? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day and I have a weird relationship. When I'm in a relationship, it's so so. When I'm out of a relationship, I don't even know that it's a holiday. But I think that goes for everyone. Well not everyone. I feel like a lot of people out of relationships um, tend to hate Valentine's Day because they're like, oh, single on Valentine's Day. And it's like, yeah, because you obviously like to bitch about your loneliness on the internet. It's going to get you nowhere. Just saying. Um, oh, that's a good one. Relationships and singleness. So I've been in a lot of relationships in my life, like a ridiculous amount of relationships. I'm joking. Maybe only like three long term and five in total um if you guys hear my grandparents talking in the background sorry but um that's that's pretty much it and like when I'm single I'm not upset that I'm single at all I and it's funny because I don't have like the craziest self-confidence or like the biggest ego I just don't really care I keep to myself so much that it being single doesn't bother me not one bit and I think that that's the reason why I have really, really healthy relationships. Um, 
if you look at like my childhood yeah there's trauma there but I haven't let that affect me at all because I feel like if I'm going to fall in love and have a relationship and all those things in between I don't want to lose it like I want to make sure it's healthy I don't want to be in a toxic relationship I I have been in one before It, it was god awful and I never want to relive that again and that's why like I have really dedicated myself to knowing that I don't want crazy shit like that to happen again because it was just, it was just so useless and I was an idiot in that relationship I wasn't the problem but I was an idiot for putting up with the problem and that's just how it is we're both to blame because as much as he was treating me like fucking shit it was also my fault for putting up with his fucking shit and instead I just like kept chasing it and chasing it and chasing it like I remember the first fight we got into was be and I first fight we got into I can't remember what the fuck is about but I said fuck you and he like almost broke up with me over it he's like that's the most offensive thing you can say to somebody and I'm like no I really don't think it is like you're insane and he pulled like this whole stunt and it was ridiculous apparently like because I said it over the phone And he was like, I was out with my friend, and so I ripped a bar door off its hinges, and then I had to pay for it. And I was like, okay, one, you're 5'8", and, like, you weigh half my weight. (laughs) Just kidding. But (laughs) he he wasn't, like, muscular and, like, a big dude, so I'm like, oh, yeah, because you did that over a fucking comment of fuck you. Whatever. Who cares? Let's not talk about him. But... I feel like a lot of people in this world, considering social media is big on dwelling on every little insecurity of everybody, I feel like you don't need extreme confidence to be in a relationship. You just need to be comfortable being alone. That's the thing. Like, if you go on a date and it doesn't work out, you need to be like, okay, cool, it didn't work out. Like, that's it. Plain and simple. And... If you really like somebody and they don't like you back, it's got to be like, okay, cool. Like, you've been in the same position they've been in. I guarantee you, somebody likes you, you don't like them back. Like, that's just how life works. And you can't take that to heart because if one person doesn't like you and doesn't want to have a relationship with you, that's like their own free will. And that's fine. Nobody has to be in a relationship with you. Nobody has to like you, plain and simple. Because when you look at it from your own perspective, say you go on a date with somebody and you're like, wow, I cannot see a future with this person, I do not like this person, yada yada yada, and you tell that person that you don't want it or you ghost them. You can't be upset that somebody did it to you. End of story, you can't. And I also feel like nowadays people don't realize that they're not putting themselves first. And I I don't mean, like, saying, like, oh, no, like, all the time and, like, really grinding your life out until you're dead. It's just having goals and aspirations and knowing that you're actively working towards those goals, even if it doesn't happen overnight, even if it's a long-term goal that's still progress in yourself and, like, you're still learning and going through the ups and downs and, like, if you fail, you fail, end of story. Like, take RuneScape, for example. If you die at Vorkath, you're just not going to go back ever. No, you're going to go back and you're going to grind it because you want to fucking kill it. And (laughs) you want to get the drops and you want to do this and you want to do that. RuneScape's a perfect example about how you should, like, deal with life, pretty much. And it's just... It's just that. It's just dealing with life in a way where you know that you have a 1 in 2,000 drop of... Or 102,000 chance of getting a drop. That's it. That's life for you. Right there. So, you take that relationship-wise, you have a 1 in... Like, if you're dating, if you're, like, going on a date with somebody, okay, you have a 1 in 50. Or, like, 1 in 2 or something like that. Like, you're not always going to get that drop. Like, that's, like, people who go fucking dry as hell on stupid shit. (laughs) Like, (laughs) literally... In the game, I mean dry as hell and stupid shit in the game. But you also can't sit there and bitch (coughs) about how lonely you are when you don't work on yourself. Plain and simple. 
and I actually think um, there is one person in this world who does preach that, not in the best way at all by, by any means. He does not say it in the best way whatsoever. <laughs> Mostly because I follow him. I keep up with him. I don't mind him. And that's Andrew Tate. <laughs> he makes a good point, though. Like, if you look at the deeper point, have a deeper understanding of what he's saying, pushing all the misogynistic shit aside, he has a good point. And it's that most men nowadays don't focus on themselves and they don't care about anything they don't care about school they don't care about shit they care about video games and bitches that's it and i think that's like so weird because they'll make fun of each other for it they will literally literally <laughs> be like bro got a girlfriend like that's so fucked up and then go home and like listen to the saddest fucking song ever and be like oh i don't have a girlfriend and it's like you don't have a girlfriend because you're a bum plain and simple <laughs> like you're not doing anything to improve yourself you're working a basic fucking job and it's okay to work a basic fucking job i work a basic fucking job but my job has a purpose in my life and that is one health insurance like everyone should have and well, three, I guess. Three, money, so I can pay my bills. But four, they, they're paying for my school. And that's just, like, a perk. It's just, like, there's several companies that pay for your school. And it's, like, I refuse to be in student debt, but I want a good education. So I make this deal with this company, and I go, okay, I work for you, pay for my school. Cool. Boom. Done. So that doesn't mean I like my job, but it means that I'm progressing and going through it. So, like, th things like that are, like, events people overlook and that's still like improving yourself even if you don't feel like you are and you could do little things in the meantime like go to the gym I don't like the gym I go occasionally like I'll, I'll have like spurts where I'll go but I don't like it and it's okay not to fucking like it going to the gym doesn't make you a fucking great person it doesn't make you more desirable it doesn't make you anything other than being healthy that's it and like for most men and most women, it's about, like, getting muscle, and, like, that's okay, but, like, that's, like, a personal goal, but you can't make it everybody's goal, and what I mean by that is not, like, oh, everyone should do this, well, that too, but you need, it needs to be personal, it needs to be to yourself, it doesn't need to be, like, oh, I'm gonna look super muscular, so I look bigger than my best friend, or I'm gonna look super muscular because I want a girlfriend, it's, like, it's, it doesn't work like that, like, yeah, it's a perk to have somebody who's, like, super healthy, but that doesn't mean, like, you need to work out. Like, my boyfriend's super healthy, he works out, yada, 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 but, like, that doesn't define him for me. And I think that's something a lot of men miss, is just, it doesn't define you. Whereas, like, if you look at Andrew Tate's overlay of his deeper meaning, that apparently is everything. But, um, I mean, saving up your money, having your own place, not living with your fucking parents at the age of fucking 28 30 29 27 like i understand it's cheaper but like it's not the cheaper aspect it's the getting the fuck out on your own and being an eligible person to have a fucking life with somebody and like m my requirements would be if like you wanted to be like fully ready you don't need all of them but like work on yourself therapist and all if you want if you need to. Some people don't need a therapist. I hate people saying everyone needs a therapist. Um, as you can see, oh my gosh, my ADHD is so bad. I just realized how jumpy this was. Whatever, who cares? Um, get healthy, whether that means going to the gym, changing your diet, ordering DoorDash a bit less, or Uber Eats a bit less, or, I don't know, taking a fucking walk during the summer. Just taking your dog on a walk once a week for all I care. Like, just something that gets you like actively moving and actively paying attention to your body start taking ginger shots i don't fucking know like just one step getting better sleep doing some skincare even if it's just washing your face and moisturizer it's fucking something like it's putting effort into your physical well-being but also putting effort into your mental is equally as important is important but doing those things and knowing that you're doing it solely like, I, I mean it, don't even fake it. Like, solely for you is the most self-care you could ever give yourself. Like, me knowing I'm going to school for me, 
I don't even care about the job it gives me. I'm going to school because I want a fucking education and I want to be an educated person and learning about things and getting an education feels good to me. And no, I don't go around like bragging about it. I'm still not the smartest person in the world, but I know a lot and I can use those tools to do certain things further to improve myself. Like, the books I read are all philosophy and politics. Do I want to be in politics? No. Do I give a fuck about philosophy? Not really, but it's fun to read. It's fun to read about. Like, it's so confusing how life works. But I feel like you can't sit there and bitch about being single if you're not putting effort into yourself. That's what I'm trying to get at. Obviously. But I'm just going on a rant. Because I gotta fill 28 minutes and 12 seconds of time. That's the crazy part. This is why podcasts go all over the place. But I really think it's a good topic to like sit with yourself and think about like, okay, what can I start doing? And don't do everything at fucking once. I started with school and then I started with my, then I went on to my money. Well, my money's salt. So what did I do? I moved on to sleep. I need to sleep better. So what did I do? I started sleeping better. Um, next, the thing I'm working on right now is eating and it's not going to like be overnight. It took me three months to get my sleep at like a correct schedule where like I go to bed between 11 and 12 and I wake up between 7 and 8. Easy. (laughs) Like easy easy and now I like literally get a headache if I don't go to bed at those times. Like my body's like hey we're tired. Go to fucking sleep. Perfect. And then once I started feeling that for like a good like two weeks straight I was like okay we're done here. That doesn't mean I let go of the habit. It just means that like, okay, this is solved. Let's move on to the next problem. And now I'm going into food. And after I finish food, then I'll go to the fucking gym. Am I going to go all the time? No. Do I want hella muscle? No. Do I just want to be healthier and get this pudge off of my fucking belly tummy? Yes. That's all I want. I don't mind my legs. I don't mind my arms. I don't mind my T-Daws. I don't mind anything else except for my tongue. But that's because I have PCOS. And if you are a PCOS girly, then you know that you collect fat in your midsection and you have no fucking choice. I'm not even fucking with you. It's hormonal. I had a big hormonal spike maybe four or five months ago and I'm not even fucking with you and I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth. I was eating 1200 to 1300 calories a day and I was working out four to five times a week for an hour at a time. Yes, reaching my target heart rate. I was doing weightlifting and cardio. And in, let's say, I would say like 10 to 12 days, my hormones spiked and I gained 15 pounds overnight. Like literally, if you saw the stretch marks on my stomach, it looks like I just gave birth. It's absolutely crazy and I haven't been able to lose it, but I stopped going to the gym because that's what spiked my cortisol and my hormone outbreak because I had only been going to the gym at that time for like two months and it just it spiked it too much and just sent me into the oblivion so I'm trying to get my food under control and then I'm going to take the gym very slowly like I might even just go to yoga like movement's movement at the end of the day so that's the biggest thing for me and then once I have all those things figured out guess what I'll probably be done with fucking school and then I gotta move on to finding a job that gets me out of retail don't care what it is just want to get the fuck out of retail and I think everyone feels that I've been in retail so much and I can't, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I see customers and I want to cry. Like it's just, it's come to that point, especially because I'm in sales now. I used to just work at like a makeup store and now I work at a place where like you have to sell and it's exhausting. It's mentally draining. Like, I understand that people are in there to get one thing, but it's like, I have to pay my bills, so you're going to have to listen to my 25-minute spiel about another thing and how I need you to buy it so I can fucking buy food. Like, I, th- I don't know. Sales is just so fucked up. But, yeah, it's just, it's a mess. Life is a fucking mess, dude. Life is a fucking mess. And I think a lot of people say that, but, but they don't, they don't fix it. <laughs> So I'm big on, like, you can't say anything unless you're going to take fucking accountability for it. Like, seriously, oh, these are one of my, oh, these are my first Warcath kills after I finished the quest. I was like, why the fuck is that a salve amulet? I was like, where the hell is my necklace of anguish? (laughs) And my anti-venom stop. Okay, these are my first kills. This is cute. They're awful. I die a lot. 
but um yeah no you i i truly stand by this you cannot bitch about something if you're not fucking actively working on it i can sit here and be like my life's a fucking mess yeah but i'm working on it so i can bitch about it you can't bitch about it if you're not fucking working on it stand by that stand by that to the fullest because i just think it's so gross when people will sit there and be like oh my life's awful okay (laughs) you gonna try to fix it like at all like you're, you're just gonna sit there and just let it be fucking shitty and bitch about it for years on fucking end and be miserable for the rest of your goddamn life okay go for it i'm giving you no fucking pity though or anything i'm gonna have no emotion towards you saying that because you don't deserve that (laughs) because you're not working on it or yourself like if you're sitting here like oh i'm so broke okay save your money stop ordering doordash stop fucking get a better job do something like there's options and i feel like people are so fucking lazy that they just don't see the options they just don't there are fucking options (laughs) like me i've been super bored lately why because i'm on a break from school i started school back up in march what am i doing i'm making a fucking podcast hello it's something it's keeping me busy it's keeping me actively engaged with something other than tiktok or fucking twitter like or sorry x it's keeping me occupied with things that are clouding keeping me not occupied with things that are clouding my fucking mental state Because if I were to sit on TikTok for weeks on end like I used to, I'm going to have a mental fucking breakdown like I used to. So not a fan. Not a fan at all. Absolutely not. So some things I think I should... I'm going to like cut the video short part if I need to. But question for you guys. And please put in the comments. Is there anything you want me to talk about? Because sometimes I'm sitting here by myself and I don't know what to talk about. And I end up in these crazy fucking rants. Like last time, I think I bitched about like the bourgeoisie or something. And this time, I'm bitching about how you should get up your your ass. Like I'm not a motivational speaker. I just have very strong beliefs, obviously. So, but since I have those, I can talk for 20 to 30 minutes about some random fucking shit. So, whether it's current events, whether it's you, I hate this word, advice, (laughs) my opinion, anything, please put in the comments below. Do you want to see me do anything in RuneScape um, that isn't a fucking raid or things I can't do? Put it down below. (laughs) Or any suggestions. Um, Hopefully, at one point, I'm going to have somebody else on here with me, not like permanent, but like random ass people. I don't want like anything too crazy just want some randos because i feel like it's more exciting talking to just like chill person that i don't know because when you know each other there's inside jokes there's a lot of giggling it's weird (laughs) like if it was me and my boyfriend this thing would have to be four hours long (laughs) seriously so yeah anything you guys want to see anything you guys want to hear about please put down below it keeps me motivated to make these okay thank you i'm very good at taking constructive criticism i know i'm all over the place i know i'm not organized in the way i talk no i will not edit my speech nor will i edit the video that plays while i talk that's where i put my foot down so thank you for listening to episode two maybe i'll let you watch the rest of my vorkath kill because yeah it'd be weird cutting it off anyways toodaloo have a nice day go outside do something other than sit on your fucking phone improve your life make a plan thank you toodles